Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to talk about the recent leaks revolving around Halo Infinite. I kind of waited a few days to make this video. A lot of other YouTubers just, you know, they upload, upload, upload as soon as they get any type of information, whether that information is confirmed or all of the information available or not, and I think that there's been a lot of miscommunication from them regarding what is in these leaks, so we're just going to go over them, going to look at my point of view. Let me know in the comments down below if you've seen these leaks, if you're excited for them. I will not be showing, I just hit my desk really hard, I will not be showing any images or, you know, video or anything like that revolving around these leaks. I don't want to risk the channel. I think that it's important to kind of be mindful of how devs and studios and the people that work on these games will feel. So I'm going to go ahead and give the disclaimer. If you do not want spoilers or... You know, I don't want to get anybody's hopes up too much or anything like that. That's not the purpose of this video. I try not to be clickbaity or anything like that. I love Halo. The way I look at this is it just makes me more excited for the future of the game. And of course, everything is subject to change. That being said, if you like Halo content, make sure you sub to the channel. I'm like potentially your third favorite Halo YouTuber. And I would greatly appreciate it as we are grinding towards 100k. You could be one of those that said I was there in the beginning. Anyways, let's go over some of these leaks. They're from, you know, Discords and Bathrobe Spartan. There's a lot of sources involved. I don't really want to link to them, I won't lie, um, because even though there's a ton of people already seeing this stuff, I, I would feel bad if I kind of contributed into them getting in trouble. But you know where to find them. We featured them on the channel before. So it's looking like the Season 3 leaks that some other Halo YouTubers have been saying is not the case at all. It's looking like this stuff is for season four and it's kind of weird because the it's basically like a flight and some unauthorized users got into it i'm not sure how but they were able to access some content and see things that the studio is working on and there's a lot it's looking like there's over 20 new maps that's not coming in season three or season four that's just in development and i kind of i think that that might be true and i also take it with a grain of salt because if you remember we thought we were gonna get 20 new maps or there were 20 maps in production when halo pretty much first launched so i wouldn't be surprised if there's that many i've seen a lot of images of what looked like fully fleshed out maps and i'm not gonna lie they look fan Fantastic. I know that we've been given two maps for season three that have been confirmed by 343. They look great, but I would not be surprised if we saw some more. So it's looking like the new narrative events will kind of be more fleshed out and have game modes accompanied with them. It looks like this season that we're looking at is going to have a heavily involved story around Aratus and infection with, you know, like AI. So that's very cool. It's also looking like Brutes, Elites, and Grunts are in Forge and Spawnable, and I know that it's been important to 343 to get campaign AI into Forge to help create PvE content that the community can make, so that is very good to see. As of right now, they don't really do anything. They don't act like the bots in the game already, um, but I assume that once they polish it up and stuff, we're going to see some very cool things come out of Forge. There's a lot of new vehicles. Uh, I've been told that the Falcon is pretty much good to go. I don't know how true that is. I've seen a image of it, and it does not look finished, but who knows? There's also a bunch of new weapons. We've talked about weapons before on here. You know, maybe we'll see the double barrel shotgun that was going around on YouTube and Twitter uh, for infection. I think that would be a pretty cool weapon to see. And one of the biggest takeaways I think that I've seen is that Firefight might be in development and it's not confirmed for any season and it will probably be a while before we see or hear anything about it if it actually comes out. But that's exciting to see. I know a ton of people have given feedback on PvE content for Halo Infinite, so fingers crossed that that actually happens. It's also looking like there's going to be Forge canvases coming to Infinite, and one of the ones that gets me really excited is that it looks like there's Forge World from Halo Reach coming. There's going to be new gear as well. I think we've all seen the Quantum Translocator thing and stuff, so... That's cool. But I think the biggest takeaway from this is actually, like, even though it's not confirmed by 343, it shows that they are working on the game. It shows that it's not just 
forgotten and it's gonna end and everything i know some people said that you know season four is gonna be the end of halo infinite and while we're not there and i don't think that that's what's actually gonna happen even then if we get this content and then it ends in season four, the amount of stuff that's gonna come in Forge and if we get all 20 maps and stuff, we're gonna have the evergreen playlist that is the Forge community playlist. I, I'm just, I'm excited and hopeful for this game. And I feel like over the last year that a lot of people have really given up on Halo Infinite. And while that's never been the case, with me, it's always been a wait and see type of thing, and I try not to burn myself out of the game. I'm excited. I will not lie. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace!